Well, Jesus. Queen Anne Bottom through to like Boonie the Bend. Complete and utter shit show. <laughs> oh. Kept bottoming out with rocks and like that really thick, um, slippery quicksand mud that just eats your shoes. And then you're trying to dig around for your shoes that got sucked off your feet. This, even though it's only like ankle deep water for the most part at those sections, it's swift moving water. And to me, like the, the most concerning thing is that your boat hits a rock and turns sideways in the water and then the current pushes your boat over and you've got a capsized boat and you've got to pick up all your shit which for the most part everything is secure except in where I'm sitting there's loose loose stuff I also went ahead and put my inReach in my zippered pocket on my PFD like just in case right I don't want that to hit a rock and the clip breaks and then I've lost my safety device or my SOS um, and I can hear, I can already hear more of that up ahead, so, great. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to find a nice place to camp. <laughs> um, this is the, f and wind, oh my gosh, I had white caps that I was paddling against because the wind is probably blowing, you know, four, six, eight times faster than the current of the water so you're having to push through a foot of like foot tall white caps um that in and of themselves you know are kind of flooding the the tip of my boat every time I would go over one so taking this minute to relax get a sip of water and then just more of the same today I <laughs> This was supposed to be, like, the last few days of just purely float trip. Free and easy, reading a book, music. And instead, it's some of the, like, I don't know, challenging? Challenging, like, mentally and physically. Like, there's hard, there's hard paddling. Legit thought I was going to break my carbon. <laughs> break my carbon paddle. Luckily, I've got a backup paddle. Where is it? There. But, um, didn't bring my paddle, so that's good. All right, I'm going to ride my boat and get cracking.